Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, what I had wanted to offer was an amendment to make it clear that no one in the District of Columbia should have to fear facing punishment from their boss for trying to start or expand their family. Uh, my amendment would have prohibited an employer from discriminating against an employee who uses infertility treatments. I recently experienced the extreme joy of becoming a mother for the first time. Uh, this miracle was not possible without the aid of in vitro fertilization, something that I was told, um, like my pregnancy likely could not have happened without in vitro due to the excess uh, radiation exposure I received during treatment for my combat-related amputations. I feel very strongly that it is heartbreaking to know that women in our country could be fired simply for using in vitro. Uh, for example, Emily Hertz, a language arts teacher at Catholic schools in Indiana, was fired after school authorities discovered that she and her husband used in vitro to try to start a family. They sought IVF treatments after learning that she suffered from a medical condition that caused infertility. She was told that the procedure was contrary to church teachings, and as a result, her teaching contract would not be renewed. Last December, a jury sided with her, awarding her damages in the case. Those seeking to start a family should not have to choose between getting the fertility treatments they need or keeping their jobs. This is not about religious freedom. It is about the freedom to make an incredibly personal and significant decision without having to consult your employer. Employees like Emily Herx should be judged at work based on their job performance and not on private decisions they make with their families and doctors. That's exactly what the DC Council intended to ensure in passing this resolution, to protect the women in the DC from facing the same discrimination that Ms. Hurst did. I urge all members to oppose um, to support this resolution, sorry. I urge all members to oppose this attempt by the majority to limit the rights of the people of the District of Columbia. Because in this day and age, the last thing we should be doing is punishing couples who are having difficulty starting a family. I yield the remainder of my time.